are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. This is episode 213. This episode is called, There Can Only Be One Beyonce. So stick around, stick around, stick around. Come on in the room. I'm live on Instagram. What's up, Instagram? I'm live on Facebook. Happy Wednesday. This is a work with me Wednesday. Every Wednesday on my Instagram, I take you with me as I do my work. Sometimes it's exciting. Sometimes it's hella boring. Today, it was what it was. <laughs> We're coming in the room. Uh, this is your first time watching Actors Daily Bread. I want to welcome you. Put one in the comments just so I can welcome you. If you're an OG member, you've been watching me for a while, put OG in the comments. To all my replay watchers who will watch this later, you know what it is. What's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. What's up, Nagi, Orlando, Raquel, Sassy, Miss Tony, Deity Kush in the house, Chiquita. Listen, so I'm getting into it tonight. Um, for real, I just woke up from a nap. It's been a busy day. I was supposed to have an audition today, a really big, juicy one, and it got postponed. No problem. I'll take the extra time. My, I'm an auntie again today. My little baby sister, who's not a little baby no more, she's grown a woman, she had her first child today. So my new nephew, Cameron, was welcome to the world out in Virginia Beach today. So I'm so excited to be an auntie again. Uh, but I wanted to pop on before I start packing. To head to Vancouver tomorrow. Shout out to those of you who reached out to me on Instagram. <laughs> uh, apparently, this I, there's some of you in Vancouver. So there's more of you in Vancouver. Make sure you leave me a comment because I may or may not, uh, depending on my schedule, uh, maybe do a meetup in Vancouver, um, possibly on Saturday. Um, Orlando, you put one in the comments. You a lie. <laughs> but listen, 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 listen. Listen, Linda, let's talk about it. It's pilot season. For some of you, that might mean absolutely nothing, and that's okay. We're all in different places and spaces. Um, but it's also equally episodic season, right? So which means stuff that was already greenlit is already is still shooting, no matter where you're based, and stuff, new shows are popping up left and right. And, you know, I, I was talking to a client uh, I talk to so many people. I think especially shout out to all of you students who are with me in um, my book more TV course right now. I feel like I'm talking to you all the time. But I was talking to one of my private clients and we were talking about prepping for an audition that they had. And they had some hesitation. I don't like saying resistance because it wasn't resistance. Let's be clear. It was a bit of laziness and uh, calling uh, out the excuse that they didn't have time to do this research on the show they were about to audition for. And, excuse me, and so I had, something I do with my inner circle private clients is I'll say, hey, before you send that audition in or before you go in, in person, why don't you do a tape of it? Let me see it, I'll give you some notes and then maybe give you some tweaks. And what I noticed was they sent me what their idea was to do. And I noticed, because I did a quick research, a quick Google search of the show. I checked out the tone of the show, the stuff I always teach, check out the tone, the pace, check it out on YouTube, check out the trailer, see who you're up, who you're in the scene with. And I saw that she looked so similar to the lead character that she was going to be in a scene with. <laughs> and I had to call her out on it. And I said, listen, there can only be one Beyonce. Y'all know. Y'all remember Destiny's Child. You had, oh, don't even take me back to the early ones because I had not forgot their names. Latoya, you had, uh, help me out, y'all. We had Beyonce, we got Kelly, it was Latoya. And what was the other one? I can't remember. The point is, somebody put it in the comments. Y'all know who I'm talking about. The point is, in any singing group, there can only be one lead singer. Right? So if lead singer got long curly hair, you can't show up with long curly hair too. Unless we're pretending to be like triplet singers or, sis or twin singers. And even with that, even with twins and triplets, they want to have their own identity in some way. And are you picking up what I'm putting down? And so it was a glaring, it was glaring that this act, Latavia, that's what it was, Valerie. Thank you. It was glaring that this actor didn't do their research to see who they were in the scene with. So when you get an audition and you get your breakdown and it says sister to so-and-so or in a scene with so-and-so and you get your script, you look up the, the cast and if the show exists, you see who the other actor is. Now go Google them, see what they look like, not just what they look like on their IMDb, but also what they look like in the show so that you don't show up looking like 
Beyonce number two, because there can only be one Beyonce. And if you show up looking like Beyonce, they're going to be like, no, and just put you to the side because she looked too much like her. And unless she's, you're supposed to be playing her sister, it's not going to work. And so I'm, this sounds very simplistic, but you'll be surprised how many times you may be making that mistake. My guys, too. Who are you, who are you opposite in the scene? You know, you want to make sure you're giving the contrast um, because that's what they're looking for. So, for instance, a prime example of this, um, and there was clearly no way I was going to look like her. But when I did Blackish and I was, I knew my, I got the audition. I was like, oh, this scene is with Rainbow. It's with Tracy Ellis Ross. So I wasn't going to pull out one of my big hair wigs. And even though I'm chocolate, that was already a contrast. But I already knew to come with something just ex as drastic as possible that would look good on camera because of the contrast. And so again, I'm, all, I'm like gonna beat the nail over the head, especially this year, because I want more of y'all to book more work, book more TV specifically. You gotta start paying attention to these little details. There's only one Beyonce, just say that to yourself. There can only be one Beyonce, there can only be one Nick Jonas, I don't know. What's, in the, what's a guy group we can use? <laughs> What's the, what's the leading guy we can use for my guys out there? But seriously, think about that. And so when you get that script and you're studying and you're thinking about, okay, you go to your closet, what am I going to wear to represent this character, to represent, represent the, the mood and the tone of this show, remember that you are also looking for contrast because that is what casting is looking for as well, unless you are supposed to be a family member. Okay? So I hope that makes sense. Just checking these comments um, on Facebook. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, awesome. Great. Listen, I'm not going to take up too much time. Justin Timberlake. Yeah, there can only be one Justin Timberlake. <laughs> Don't be Justin Timberlake number two. Um, listen, if you've missed any of these Actor Daily Breads, this is episode 213, so you can come to my YouTube channel and catch up on... 212 other episodes, and, and there's actually more things on there. So knock yourself out. Um, have an amazing rest of the week. Um, I need to get ready to go pack. Um, yeah, stay encouraged. Listen, I know this can easily turn into a season where you can see friends working more than you or getting more auditions than you. Just remember, you don't always know the full story. You don't always have the full breakdown. Something may appear to be just up your alley, but you don't have all the details and you don't know all the things that's going on behind the scenes. So just stay encouraged, stay in your lanes, keep doing your work, keep working your muscle, keep just practicing, getting the muscle ready. I can't stress this enough. I know my clients are tired of hearing me say it, but remember this is a muscle you have to work. Just like if you were a singer, you gotta sing every day, piano players play every day, dancers dance, Actors, we have a tendency to just kind of wait until a big opportunity comes. Thank you for the love on Instagram, right? We have a, a, a tendency to wait until the opportunity comes, and then we put so much pressure on that opportunity and use that opportunity as practice when we need to be practicing and sharpening our muscle all the time. And if you're not surrounded by friends, other creatives, other actors, who are, who is, you know, iron sharpens iron, get you a new crew, get you some accountability buddies, people who are positive, energetic, who are not dream snatchers trying to tell you what can't happen, who know no limits, right? Get surround yourself with those kind of people and that circle might be small and that's okay, but stay encouraged. Remember you have a gift that the world needs to see, so don't cheat us on that gift. Hey, listen, if you want more inspiration, my, I released a new podcast episode my Hollywood Bound Actor podcast, wherever you like to listen to podcasts, there's a new episode that I released today that I think is going to be really helpful for really dealing with relationship loss after a gig is over. So any of you who've ever bonded with people on set, on a, on a national tour, on Broadway, on a gig, and then that relationship was ripped apart because it was over, and you don't know how to deal with that loss and it's hard to talk about or even process, I think you will really uh, be blessed by this week's episode. All right, I will see you guys next time. I love you all. Have an amazing night. Bye.